Hello, welcome to the Keyence IX training module. Today we'll discuss how to trigger the IX from a Rockwell PLC. We'll do this using a Compact Logics PLC and the Studio 5000 software, but the principles will apply to any PLC capable of implicit or cyclic Ethernet IP communication. If you have not yet set up your IX and DLEP1 communication module, please view the dedicated video for initial Ethernet IP setup. First, let's make sure our settings are correct in the IX Navigator software. I've created a basic IX program for this example. I'll hit Sensor Setup to bring us to Step 1, Detection Setup. Here, you want to make sure you're set for an external trigger. Once that's set, you're ready for your IX to receive a trigger from the PLC. I'll hit Complete Settings, put the sensor back in Run Mode, and now we're done with our settings in IX Navigator. Now I'll head into Logix Designer. I'm using the same program I created in our initial setup video, so again, please watch that video before following along with this one. I'll click our controller tag so you can see we have the input and output data from our IX already set up. Now I'll click Main Routine, which will show our ladder logic, which is currently empty. We'll start by adding a rung. To do this, I'll double click our rung icon. Next, I'll add a normally open contact by dragging this icon onto the rung. I'll double click the question mark to define this contact as local input data zero because I physically have a push button wired to input zero on my PLC. You should choose whichever input bit you'll be using to trigger your IX for this element. Next, I'll add an output to energize by dragging this icon to the right of my contact. This I'll define as DLIX output data 0, 0.0, which as you can see here, corresponds to our bit for a trigger slash timing request. Now, before we add our next element, we'll want to get back to our controller tags, then click on the Edit Tags tab. Here, we'll add a tag called One Shot. We can leave it as a DI and T type tag, as this is essentially a dummy bit used to define the next element of our ladder logic. Now I can go back to our main routine, and I'll drag this One Shot icon next to our normally open contact. I can now define it as One Shot Zero thanks to the tag we created. Next, I'll drag a branch from up top and add it to our rung. I'm then going to click and drag the right side of the branch to extend it past our one-shot element. On this branch, we'll want to drag a normally open contact and define it as DLIX output data 0, 0.0, which will keep our trigger request activated for as long as we need it to stay on. Finally, we'll add a normally closed contact to the right of our branch. We'll define this one as DLIX input data 5.0. This corresponds to our trigger slash timing response. By adding this to our ladder logic, we ensure that we stop sending the request as soon as we receive a response back from the camera, which helps prevent issues like the request bit getting stuck on high. Now we have our ladder logic for triggering complete. I'll click download here and then download again to download this program to our PLC. Now I'll flip the switch on my PLC to run mode and open IX Navigator so you can see it in action. When I press my push button, we'll see local input data zero turn on and you can see this successfully triggers our IX. Thank you for watching.